So it's a flower light. <clears throat> so this is a diagram of uh, HIV virus. It has got two pieces of RNA identical, and it has got an enzyme called reverse. Transcriptase. Uh, it has got a, an enzyme called reverse transcriptase. It has got a glycoprotein antigen. One twenty glycoprotein antigen, one twenty, and uh, it has got pedicle glycoprotein antigen. It is forty one pedicle. Glycoprotein antigen, which is forty one. Glycoprotein antigen forty one. So it has got two similar pieces of RNA with reverse transcripted. It has got a nucleocapsid. That is P24 antigen. This antigen appears first after the infection. P24 infection. Then it has got uh, one more outer membrane. Outer membrane. It has got one more outer membrane. So it has got it's it's a, a round in shape. It has got an envelope antigen, which is glycoprotein 120, and it has got pedicle antigen. It is embedded in the envelope. This is envelope. Forty one, one twenty and forty one. And it has got a nucleocapsid antigen, this B24. It has two identical pieces of RNA and it has got reverse transcriptase. This is a structure of HIV. This is a structure of HIV. Human immunodeficiency virus. Human immunodeficiency virus. This belongs to retrovirus. It belongs to retrovirus. So, it's spherical in shape. It has got two identical pieces of RNA, and inside it has got uh, reverse transcriptase enzyme and envelope. It has got two antigens, which is uh, made up of uh, uh, GP glycoprotein 120 and glycoprotein. 41 and it has got a nucleocapsid antigen which is made up of P24. Clear? Okay. Now coming to the roots of transmission. How it is transmitted from person to person.
root of roots of transition. Okay, unscreened blood, blood transfusion. Number two is mother to child, it's also called as vertical transition. Needle stick injury, needle stick injury. The last one is the mother is breastfeeding this is the confirm, confirmed modes of transmission these are the confirmed modes of transmission so everybody repeat with me unscreened blood sexually transmitted viral infection mother to child in utero infection and needle stick injuries and breast milk. So, uh, there is something called window period. We define window period like incubation period. What is incubation period? What is the definition for incubation period? What is the definition of incubation period? And uh, appearance of uh, what, are, what about window period? You heard of window period? The window period. Window period is defined as you know, window period is defined as entry of virus and development of antibodies or zero conversion. Development of zero conversion. So uh, they have got uh, as soon as they enter, they have receptors. There are uh, T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. They have receptors on CD4 cells. They have receptors on helper T cells. The receptors on the CD4 cells, it attacks CD4 cells and uh, destroy them. The moment it becomes less than 200 cells per cubic millimeter, 200 cells per cubic millimeter, you have to start heart treatment or heart treatment. What is heart? Antiretroviral therapy. Heart is anti highly active antiretroviral therapy. So, man becomes immunocompromised. Man becomes immunocompromised. He is uh, fighting against bacteria, virus and fungi goes down and he is susceptible for all opportunistic infection. This becomes susceptible for all opportunistic infection. So now, what are the all? What are the opportunistic infection you will have? So one is bacterial. Second is fungal. Third is parasitic. Then sometimes it develops because loss of uh, surveillance program, it develops uh, cancers also. Now, what are the common bacterial infection? He guess first the first infection that occurs in a HIV patient is Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Mycobacterium tuberculosis. 
and uh, salmonella salmonella is and uh, uh, a typical mitoma bacteria also a typical mycobacteria then salmonella so these are the opportunistic infection will de develop viral cytomegalovirus herpes simplex cme herpes simplex cme herpes simplex chicken pox vz virus chicken pox vz virus <coughs> then eb virus sorry this is viral epstein bar virus then mycotic infection pneumocystis carinae pneumocystis carinae pneumocystis carinae <coughs> candida cryptococcus Candida cryptococcus, Isospora, and Strongloides circularis. Isospora, Strongloides, Isospora, Strongloides. Now, parasitic toxoplasma. Toxoplasma, <coughs> toxos, toxos, uh, toxoplasma, cryptosporidiosis, isosporiosis, and stronglordosis. Then malignancies, Kaposi sarcoma and Hodgkin's lymphoma. Malignancies. Kaposi. Kaposi sarcoma, Kaposi sarcoma, and Hodgkin's lymphoma. Hodgkin's lymphoma. Now, uh, how do you detect uh, the uh, laboratory diagnosis of uh, HIV infection? We do enzyme linked immunosorbent assay. Enzyme linked immunosorbent assay. The first uh, antigen that appears in the blood is uh, P4, P24 antigen. And uh, virus isolation is important for the diagnosis in the window period. Virus isolation is attempted uh, cultivation in CD4 lymphocytes during the window period. Now, this also we can do a PCR polymerase chain reaction to see the number of viral copies. Antibody detection is done by ELISA rapid test that I am going to show you that rapid test include uh, dot plot assay it is called as dot blot assay it is called as dot blot assay this is called as dot blot assay which we are going to demonstrate today and uh, simple test uh, rapid test can be completed within 10 minutes whereas rapid uh, ELISA takes 1 to 3 hours. Now we can do the CD4 count, CD4 count less than 200. Non-specific count we can do the T lymphocyte count and look for the then 
western blot we can do for confirmation and prevention is uh, uh, using condoms and having sex you should not share the needle mother should be screened during antenatal checkup and it should be treated with uh, nevirapine before the delivery all blood should be screened for hiv hvsag scv needle stick injury should be reported to the hospital infection control department and they should be taken care of and contact person contact infection screening of uh, individuals within a group helps in the help in intensify the hiv infection prophylaxis no effect no vaccine is developed okay there is antiretroviral therapy that will be taught in detail in your pharmacology classes there are uh, groups of uh, nrtis nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor protease inhibitor fusion inhibitors integrase inhibitors entry inhibitors receptor against it. so these are all the in simple and just we go to the uh, the history is uh, in new york north angeles unexplained outbreak of kaposi sarcoma pneumosis 81 1981 almost 40 years back these are opportunistic uh, infections like pneumosis is carinae but the people lost uh, immune competence and uh, it was called as acquired immunodeficiency syndrome so these are the people who discovered robert gallo and luc montagier 83 and 84 international committee asked first asked to name it as hiv virus so this is a structure of uh, hiv virus so you can see the enveloped glycoprotein antigen enveloped antigen rna nucleocapsid outer shell nucleocapsid p420 p18 reverse transcriptase enzyme transcriptase pedicle enzyme glycoprotein so envelope is uh, round in shape 120 nanometer in size genome is deployed two rna copies associated with viral reverse transcriptase lipoprotein envelope spikes constitutes they have got a special attachment to the cd4 cells helper help, helper cells genes gag gene and uh, antigens p15 p18 p24 p24 which appear appears at here glycoprotein 120 surface antigen and 141 antigen transfer antigen whole gene codes polymerase reverse transcriptase protease and endonucleases so these are the viral genetics these are all antigens present 120 41 p18 24 p15 55 p31 51 66 so these are the tat nif rev with if you will be genes vpr ltr sequences based on molecular antigen hiv1 prevalent world by hiv2 prevalent in west africa closely related to siv simian immunodeficiency virus hiv1 subtypes is based on sequence analysis of their gag and envelope gene classified into at least 10 series subtypes all subtypes constitute major antigen group o does not fall in the uh, m group so in india and china subtype c is most prevalent antigen difference between hiv strains will be important in zero diagnosis transmission by subtype subtypes common in asia africa are transmitted by heterosexual group and uh, american strains injection in homosexual contact growth characters of hiv virus isolated as symptomatic grow slowly in the peripheral lymphocytes isolated from hiv patient grow faster so thermolabile inactivated in 10 minutes at 60 degrees it's it sends lipolysis virus is lipolyzed blood product 68 degrees for 72 hours so 50% ethanol 35% isop isopropanol 5% Lysol 0.5 percent formaldehyde 0.3 hydrogen peroxide 10 percent household bleach 5 percent sodium hypochlorite. So it has got special affinity for helper T cells, CD4 cells, and they bind with uh, CD4 cells and they multiply. The replication occurs in the CD4 cells, and CD4 cell cells get depreciated. So features of AIDS are lymphopenia, T cell deficiency. delayed hypersensitivity hyperglycemia polyclonal activation decrease lymphocyte proliferative decrease cytotoxic response decrease antibody response altered monocyte and uh, 
gates is the last stage clinical manifestation hiv infection considered as having group 1 that is 3 to 6 weeks person have fever headache rashes antibodies usually negative no onset of illness group 2 induce rise to median time required for hiv is almost 10 years 5 to 10% develop rates even after do not develop even after 15 years persistent generalized lymphadenopathy group 4 aids related complex that is called arc typical constitutional symptoms uh, diarrhea marked weight loss and a portion of infection and oral candidiasis herpes zoster salmonella strep so end stage most of the affected respiratory symptoms cough dyspnea gastrointestinal system hepatic stomatitis gingivitis leukopenia kaposi sarcoma toxoplasmosis cryptococcal meningitis malignancy and dementia So these are the I told you written all the toxoplasmosis, cryptosporidosis, cystosporidosis, stromatosis, mycotic pneumosis, candidiasis, cryptococcus, aspergillosis, cystoplasmosis, mycobacteria, non-tuberculous infection, salmonella, campylobacter, nocardia, legionellosis, CMA, herpes simplex, malignancy, kaposi, and lymphomas. One third of half of the number of babies born to HIV infected mothers are infected with HIV. Children may acquire HIV. transfusion of blood and blood products children develop poor immunity infection failure to thrive aids lymphocytic intestinal pneumonia non specific immunological test leukocyte count uh, less than 2000 t cells subset less than 200 per cubic millimeter t4 tell t cell ratio is reverse platelet count shows thrombocytopenia raise igg ig level diminish cell mediated immunity lymph node biopsy profound abnormalities this is what happens specific test for an antibody detection simplest and most widely used for hiv it becomes uh, positive after 2 to 8 weeks uh, and uh, antigen appears p4 elisa rt rna rt pcr dna pcr and igm antibodies disappear in 8 to 10 serological test screening elisa direct solid phase anti globulin elisa is used antigen is obtained by recombinant technique antigen isolated by microtetral test serum is 